my grandfather's old school draw knife. Thanks for visiting our sawmill. So it's a total eclipse day. Let's see if we can get it with our camera. Oh, I think there it is. Let me tell you what, it's making the dogs and cats do crazy things. Come over here and look at Chip. He is so wound up right now. I mean, seriously. It's the middle of the day and his eyes are open. What do you think about the eclipse, Chip? Well, I don't know. I don't think that much about it. Okay. Since we are engineers and Martha has hardware in space once you work for NASA, NASA kindly gave us some official NASA kind of silverized plastic cardboard glass and they do work if they don't i'll let you know in a couple weeks when i'm blind as a bat the other day i did a video of live edge slabs and how much i love them do not yeah the issues we have with them is the bark and live edge has bark on it obviously logs have been drugged through the mud they've been drugged through all kinds of rocks and gravel and let me tell you what this is what they look like they're horrendous full of debris, gravel, mud, grit, all of them. You can see the dust come off. So, the issue is, some of you say, well, what's the problem with that? Well, the problem is when you try to feed that grit and gravel through our handy dandy Amazon Walmart planer. You can get one online about 15 bucks. Amazon Prime will deliver it overnight. Um, right here. The cutters in this machine are expensive. I don't remember exactly how much they are, but to say that they're a thousand bucks each would probably not be an understatement. Um, solid carbide one inch wide half inch thick razor's edge they're designed to cut wood they're not designed to cut rock when you feed live edge slabs into a planer whatever's in the bark you're taking off if you don't think this is a big deal and you think i may be exaggerating well you might be right but you're not take your favorite chainsaw crank it up wide open, go out into the mud, and jam the tip into the mud. I'll give it about 10 seconds. Then pull it out and try to cut a log. That's what's happening to my planer blades. You can take the girl out of NASA, but you can't take the NASA out of the girl. You know what I'm saying? I'm here trying to talk about wood, and she's staring up in the sun. So, there you go. So anyway, the issue we got is with these things is they destroy planer blades. And there are a lot of ways we've tried to take bark off. We've tried mechanical methods. We've, water. Tried, water. we've tried pressure washing when the logs are green. We've tried automotive, I mean automated bark removers. We've tried a lot of things, grinders, diamond wheels, you name it, we've tried it. And the thing that we still have found works the best is my grandfather's old school draw knife. This thing is, came over to Mayflower, possibly, old school, razor sharp, still works as good as brand new. Before we feed this live edge through the planer, we've got to strip the bark off of it and Luckily, as I film, Martha works, so she just got another one done. Fingers. There we go. 8,421 more to go. 
trying to get right under the cambium layer right between the bark and the wood itself not cut it but peel it so you get under it and give it a little twist give it a little twist give it a little twist try to stay under it and if you're lucky it will pop off just like that one nice strip just like that yay kind of like filleting a fish without the smell and like this this is what you're looking for right there Hopefully there's a seam, put it right there, just like that. Woo! This is what we're talking about right here. Woo, look at that. That's a whopper. There we go. As painless as possible. Because even after all this, you still got to plane them. And I know there's a bunch of folks out there going, oh, leave the bark on. We love the bark. Well, let me tell you what is a place we sell these things for a living. And for every one person who wants bark, there's 50 that want the bark off. Well, what do I do with the bark? Pull it off. How? I'm going to go get a draw knife. Well, what's that? Well, I got one right over here. Oh, where do I get that? Well, you pay for it, Amazon. Well, why didn't you do it? Because. This one is full of rock and grit. In the real world, logs are drugged through the mud. Now we're gonna plane them. Turn her on. We're gonna set. Two inches. So we're taking five and a half millimeters off the bottom, nearly a quarter of an inch. And we're gonna take the same off the top, set the speed to slow. This planer has a bottom cutter and top cutter. They will take a quarter of an inch per side per pass. So we can reduce these by half an inch per pass. The deal is that these boards have a cup in them, a little bit, not much, they're pretty flat, actually. So we want to balance the cutter head so we have about equal loads on both motors. This is the bottom cutter. There's the top cutter. Here goes another one going in. Let's see how it does. Both sides are done. And look at the bottom. Beautiful. The nice thing about this planer, it's, it's called a flattening planer. It's double sided. This is what it does. It takes wood and flattens it while it's planing it. The little fingers you see, those are thousands of little spring loaded plungers. And they're the goal or what they're Instead of just presser rollers like most planers, this one uses those fingers to gently push down on the board so as not to deform it. Twenty-five inches.
forklift operators coming around to inspect our job. What do you think, boss? You think we did okay? Yeah? All right. We're done with the slab planing. Uh, an entire front end loader of bark that came off. This is a 100 horsepower, near 100 horsepower machine. That is a big bucket. It's got a lot of bark and a lot of mud that would have been run through our planer. Figure we did uh, 24 slabs, average price 250 bucks a pop. That comes out to around $6,000. That was worth it for a few hours work, plus sawing, plus buying logs and everything. But anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this. Sawmilling is fun. Doing slabs is not that much fun. Sawmilling's fun. So either way, y'all have some fun. We will see y'all again next week. Thanks for visiting our sawmill. Click on the links above to see more of our videos.